Nice, 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 nice. Shall we uh, get uh, in and do the thing? Let's do the thing. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Tomorrow Gason, or how I ripped off Buffer the Vampire Slayer, the only MC video podcast, right, that covers <laughs> <laughs> this shitty thing I wrote as a 14-year-old about how great it would be if me and you were mm-hmm. supernatural-powered crime-fighting ninjas. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we were the only one. We are unique. And you got a lot of mileage out of it, to be fair. Like, this wasn't just one half-page short story that you wrote. This is a full-on... <laughs> I wrote four st- seasons and a exactly, spin-off. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I there never finished it. <laughs> story arcs in this. Did you... Was there never even, a, like, a a one-off ending episode? Like a sort No, of... there was going to be. I think... I, well, <sighs> we'll get into this as we go along. But there yeah. was going to be one more season, and then I had a big crossover episode that was going to end it all, and it was going to be epic. <laughs> um... But yeah, maybe, maybe, we'll see how we go, see how this goes. Maybe I'll have to go back and uh, rewrite that, although it won't clearly be the same. You need like um, a, a serenity, you know, because clearly Fox <laughs> cancelled Tomorrow Gason. Exactly. Like they cancelled yeah, all other beautiful TV series. <laughs> it wasn't me being lazy. No. Fox. <laughs> um, so, yeah, in the last episode, I believe we finished on a cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. But, handily, at the start of this episode, it's recapped in a recapped <laughs> paragraph. <laughs> Are you going to do so, the, the voice, the previously interrogation uh, first? Yeah, of course. Yeah, good, yeah, good. I have to do that. Yeah. Uh, so let's get cracking with Family Part 3. I guess I have to use that same voice as well, don't I? Do, do you want me to do it? Oh, yeah, go on then. Okay. <clears throat> previously on Tomorrow Gason. Nice, that was pretty good. That Thank was pretty you. good. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, as he walked down the hall, the person at the door knocked again. He started to sprint. This is Chip, by the way, in case you didn't know. He started to sprint, thinking maybe it was someone in trouble. He opened the door. Hello, bro, <laughs> said Scott. <laughs> His brother. Did they accidentally spoil the entire twist last time? Yes, but let's not draw attention to that. Cool, okay. <laughs> in case someone decided to listen to episodes, the- whatever this is, uh, <laughs> now, and they don't know what's happening. The twist uh, is that Scott is... Australian, if that was the accent you were going for? <laughs> I'm going more surfer, bro, but we'll okay, see how, fair that, enough, fair how that goes. But, of course, this is a cliffhanger because all of Chip's family were killed by something that we won't mention just yet. Uh, <laughs> so, this episode actually... <laughs> I was begins... about to say it. Then... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, sorry, carry on. Chip was completely and utterly shocked. His whole family had been uh, <clears throat> killed by vampires uh, about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Uh, that's why he was chosen to join the Ku Klux and to become a ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> he is a plural ninja. That's how good he is. He's so yeah, he's so good. You start off being one ninja and then you get so good at, <laughs> you level up, become several ninjas. I believe Chip is now nine ninjas. <laughs> I had a I... T-shirt that said "I am ten ninjas" on it once. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, clearly I joined the Ku Klux as well. It would have been around the time that we, you were writing Tamara Gason, too, so... Oh, maybe foreshadowing. I the idea from your teacher. Yeah. That's why he was chosen to join the Ku Klux and to become a ninjas. I, uh, I'm... He couldn't form logical words in his brain. His brother still stood there, grinning. Um, what? Ah, uh, well, and gone... Oh, wait, wait, I've completely lost the, uh, this voice now. I need, I need to... Just settle, Chip, just settle. Get into character. Well, aren't you going to invite your brother in? I'm not sure where we're going with it, so that's that's where we are right now. It is an accent. I can't place what it is, but <laughs> it's, it's definitely something. It's definitely uh, evolving as we go along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip paused, then took a deep breath. Yeah, of course. Come in. Now Chip was standing face to face with his brother, who'd he thought was long gone. Scott stepped forward and hugged Chip. I know, bro! That was exactly my reaction when I realised you were still alive. <laughs> oh dear. Chick took a chip took him into the kitchen and introduced him to the rest of the guys. Jay was confused. Aren't your family like dead? He asked. That's a point, said Chip. You didn't say how and why you are here. Scott proceeded to explain to Chip and the others of how, when the vampires attacked Chip's home, he had sneaked out of the back and gone to get help. By the time he returned, all that left, all that was left was pools of blood and various family parts. 
I really hope that's the way he told the story. Yeah, he got back and there was just blood and some various family parts knocking about. I also like how Chip asked why he's here. Like, oh, for fuck's sake, why are you here? Brother who thought I was dead and I thought was dead and I haven't seen in years and possibly died tragically. But no, God. No, no. He had taken off, believing there was no one left. Just like Chip, said Louise. God, this is a fucking long paragraph. (laughs) You can do it. Yeah, only I didn't know he wasn't home at the time. The next time I saw my brother was in a national newspaper. Now, I mean, I don't know what this is now. He's, he's coming he's, kind of Jack. I was No, I was thinking like it's a bit like a sort of really stereotypical sort of black guy accent from the 30s maybe. Like, Ooh, okay. You know, sort of the Uncle Tom kind of. Right. Well, we do love a racist accent. We so do, we should we go do. with that, yeah. Yeah, only I didn't know he wasn't home at the... No, no, hang on, hang on. I've lost the voice. I've bit, lost that was a now. bit more jive. Yeah, it was a bit more jive. Yeah, only I didn't know he wasn't home at the time. The next time I saw my brother was in a national newspaper. Oh, we've moved up to national. Normally we're quite regional and local. <laughs> <That's true>. but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was some story about a big gang boss getting arrested in Japan, and there was a picture of him. In the background stood Chip, and you, actually... Scott pointed at MC. I love, I love how we're fucking stealthy ninjas and we're like in a newspaper. I like to think we held up the gang boss like, you know, when fishermen catch fish. <laughs> oh, wow. 100 kilos. This is a big one. And we're, we're wearing like ninja masks and shit. Yeah, yeah, of course. We've got to protect our identity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, we're sightseers. Replied the ginger ninja. Also, wrong type of... Seer there, right? Yeah, and like also... Seer, what? seer is in fortune teller there? That's what I read it as first? Yeah, well, obviously, that's probably what you meant, right? That's what we are? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Scott told everyone that he had to know if the man in the photo was indeed his brother, and sure enough, it was. And now, here I am talking to my brother, who I assume was dead. Chip offered Scott something to drink and eat, because he's clearly mad, but he declined. <laughs> Oh, he, de- he declined food and drink, MC. Meaningful. Interesting. What could it mean? I don't know. Let's read on. However, everyone else fancied a cuppa. So Chip trotted off to the kitchen to brew the tea. It's all got quite British, hasn't it? I love it. A brother who thought he was dead. He'd been here literally five minutes. He's like, yeah, I just oh, kind of bored of this, dude. Just going to the kitchen. <laughs> Scott continued to talk and get acquainted with MC and Jay while Louise went to give Chip a hand. In the kitchen, Chip was busy dishing out portions of sugar because they'd run out of tea or, like, what? <laughs> of which they were running worryingly <laughs> low. Um, <laughs> bowl of sugar. Here you go. Times are tough. We have got we can't drink any tea, so we've got to have portions of sugar, and even that's getting low. <laughs> you don't seem happy to about your brother being here, said Louise. Chip was a bit surprised and taken back. <laughs> taken back to the shop because he was full tea. <laughs> It always felt to him that Louise seemed to know what was going on with people in an almost exact way. I think I'm still in shock, he replied and smiled, which is what you do when you're in shock. You smile, right? And Louise has this amazing capacity called looking at people's faces and <laughs> reading their expressions. It's almost magical. Maybe she's a seer too. Yeah, true. A few hours later and everyone was getting tired, all except Scott who seemed to be having a great time. It's like he doesn't need to sleep or he's up all night or something. <laughs> <laughs> MC and Louise decided to head up to their respective rooms. Jay, who didn't feel like going home alone after being kidnapped earlier in the day, asked if he could share Louise's room. Creepy. <laughs> well, so did he get kidnapped to get... Oh, yeah, by his, by his dad, right? Yeah, this is like 24 hours later, right. or not even that, I think. Right, so, right. yeah, there's a lot going on today. Mm-hmm. They settled on letting him have one of the many spare rooms in the mansion because it's fucking huge, apparently. I also love how they settled on letting him have one of the <laughs> rooms in the mansion that he is in the process of buying. Yeah, but it was in, like, the cellar and it was a drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a try! He thought, as he said goodnight to Chip and Scott. When everyone had gone, Scott asked his brother how they had come to own such a sweet crib. <laughs> the fact that it says sweet crib kind of fits with the way he speaks, I think. <laughs> Chip told him he would explain it over a drink. But you don't drink, protested Scott. Yeah, well, it's been one of those days, said Chip. Did you not drink in those days? Was that a thing? Yeah, I think I wasn't, like, 
18 or something like that until I started drinking and now I just do it all day every day yeah you're on your fucking hipster beers now aren't you yeah love love a love a craft beer I only drink IPAs <laughs> the bar Chip chose was deliberately quiet not only because he hated crowded places anyway he just didn't want to have any disagreements with any of the undead who seemed to flock to the busy hotspots quite often in this city is that like in the tourist guide and stuff like that <laughs> I, it's always a puzzle with Buffy and stuff. Like, if there are all these vampires around everywhere, nobody quite notices. Or are they uh, like, you know, we're probably getting by vampires, but I just want to go clubbing. It's fine. <laughs> that bar does the best peanuts. <laughs> he still wasn't sure how much Scott knew about him and what he did now. When was that not reported in the national newspaper? Was it? <laughs> or as they pulled up two stalls at the bar, Chip immediately said, "I need a piss. Get them in, will ya? What are you drinking then?" asked Scott. Anything, Chip said over his shoulder. It all tastes the same to me. Chip's kind of a miserable cunt, isn't he? He is. And also it's yeah. like, oh, great to see you. I thought you were dead. Get me a drink. <laughs> yeah, I need to piss. You get it. <laughs> uh, well, every good sentence always starts this way. In the toilet, <laughs> Chip washed his face in cold water. It, it had been a very long day. In the actual toilet as well. It's not a sink. <laughs> He's just scooping water from the toilet, splashing it on his face. Just flushing the chain over his face. Uh, I, was, I love how cliched that is as well, when it's like the character in a film doesn't know what to do or is shocked. He's like, what do I do? Better splash water on my face. <laughs> Have you ever done that in real life? I really haven't. Maybe I'm I should try do it. in a minute. Yeah, yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe okay. it will uh, wash away all of our troubles. Yeah. But we have to use the toilet, that's... Yeah, the toilet. obviously. As he expected, his reflection... <laughs> <laughs> As he expected, his reflection... He was looking in the mirror and he was waiting for his reflection to come back, but I guess it was like lag or something, I don't know. Maybe chip is the word I'm not going to say. Ooh, yes. The thing we don't actually know yet, even though it's heavily hinted at and yeah. quite obvious. As he expected, his reflection... He refused to think about anything other than having a drink with his brother. As he jumped back as he turned... <laughs> sorry, no, even that's wrong. As he jumped back as he turned, Shinra Khan was standing there. We need to talk, young chip. He said, also, drink. Because he's standing there, he's appeared, it's drink. True, true. I know, replied Chip. You know? Yes, I know. Scott is a vampire. <gasps> oh my god, Chip I spoiled it. Didn't see this coming. <laughs> <laughs> at all it must have happened when he splashed that cold water on his face he was like oh my god <laughs> Chitno Khan had always trusted his pupils and their decisions even ones that he couldn't understand like the time MC had watched Army of Darkness 12 times in a row oh reference to our lovely thing our favourite things yes what's I'm surprised there's more Evil Dead references actually that's true when's the last time you watched Army of Darkness been a while for me Hmm, yeah, me too. I've watched Evil Dead quite recently, but not Army of Darkness. We should rectify that. We should we'll watch it when I come down. Okay, yeah, let's do that. But he couldn't comprehend why Chip didn't end the thing that was once his brother. He tried to reason with Chip. Scott is now a vampire. He is no longer a blood relative. He has been tainted and corrupted by demon <laughs> blood. All that remains is the memories from his mortal life. Uh, form his mortal life. Form his mortal life. <laughs> Uh, Shinra Khan's had a few drinks he's been there a little while already <laughs> still Chip refused to comply I know that but who's to say that he won't be the exception maybe there could be a real life angel on the streets of Tokyo yeah but then Chip would fuck him <laughs> <laughs> it would be weird uh, I mean that is not just ripping off Buffy that's like Buffy 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 here's a Buffy reference Buffy yeah, yeah, yeah. but no there, there would be like weird undead incest shit going on if he turned out to be Angel <laughs> yeah I'd fuck the shit out of him yeah Chip my friend contrary to beliefs <laughs> <laughs> I guess better angels do not exist he's so drunk <laughs> <laughs> he's been there all night just, this is where he goes when he's not at the mansion he's just at this undead bar <laughs> drinking Chip you are my best mate <laughs> No, oh, really. I love you, I love you man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've only had like five beers max. I, I did shots. <laughs> Pop quiz, old man. It's a telly program. I hate myself for having written that. Yeah. 
He looked into the eyes of the man who had been like a father over the past 18 months. He couldn't lie to him, but he would defy him. I'm going back into the bar to spend some time with my brother. As he started to exit the toilet, Shinno Khan came <laughs> after him. Are they just locked in a cubicle together? I was going to say, this whole thing has just happened in a cubicle. Chip washing his face in the toilet bowl. Shinno Khan appears. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's like, oh, you weren't who I was supposed to be meeting in here. <laughs> but you'll do. He will turn on you and on your friends. But Chip carried on walking and rejoined his brother. You were gone a long time, said Scott upon his return. Yeah, I just uh, bumped into someone I knew in the bogs. Do you mean people you know often in the toilets? Ah, Scoot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Chip just smiled. Where's this drink then, Scoot? (laughs) Is that his nickname? Yeah, that's what I used to call him when we were growing up. Oh, dear. Back in the mansion, and it was all quiet... All except for the incredible loud heavy metal music coming from Jay's room. I mean, it's not Jay's room, it's the spare room, come on. (laughs) All except for in the incredible loud. Mmm, it's so loud I can't concentrate on what I'm typing. (laughs) As MC threw on his kimono and headed for Jay's room, he contemplated murder, but kept reminding himself that he was good. Still, there had to be an exception, and some arsehole playing some shitty music at 1.45am had to be punished. Are you going to go rape Jay? Is this what's happening? Presumably. Okay. Oh, sorry, I like the specificness of it being 1.45. There you are with the timings again. <laughs> I do like a time and a date, and uh, it's all well building. It's all well building. Exactly. He pushed open Jay's door and found him fast asleep on his bed with a pair of with a pair of earphones on his head. Are they called earphones or are they headphones? Doesn't it depend on whether they're in a... But yeah, like headphones, I thought of the over-ear ones. I didn't realise there was uh, a difference. I don't know. Perhaps it's not a... a <laughs> Perhaps there isn't an international standard on this. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, when we started this journey through tomorrow case, and mm. I wasn't expecting to learn. But <laughs> there we are. The lead had come loose and fallen out of the earphone socket, thus the music blared out of the speakers. MC was amazed that Jay was still snoring, despite the hundreds of decibels coming from form the stereo. <laughs> I struggle with that word. <laughs> Not wanting to use an old cliche. MC thought. But that music would wake the undead. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> What what a funny guy MC is. Not bad for a computer nerd. Yeah, not as good as a wisecracking script writer, though. <laughs> he switched the stereo power button to off, and Joe and Jay woke up, startled. What's going Who? He looked Where? around the bedroom. Where the bloody hell am I? MC reassured his rich friend <laughs> that he was safe in a manner of the world, but if he ever woke MC up again, then there was going to be a conversation. Ooh, that's an interesting sentence. MC reassured his fridge friend that he was safe in a manner of the world, but if he ever woke MC up again, then there was going to be a conversation in italics. You've discovered italics, which is good. <laughs> um, ag- it adds to the drama. Again, Jay, after having like his own episode where he sort of developed the character a bit, he's back to being, he's rich and <laughs> we are nasty to him. Hey, he likes to have you metal as well, that's new. Yeah, 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 definitely never been mentioned before. But the kind without words where I'm bashing your skull in with a large rock collection. Thought MC. Now, a large rock collection. Should we talk about that for a second? Because that's kind of odd, right? Yeah. And, like, is it all the rocks at once? Or does he cycle through them? Or does he pick, like, a favourite? And is it MC's rock collection? Does MC collect rocks? Or is it, like, they're going to go to a museum? Like, it's quite, you know, Mm. planned. And uh, that's where he's going to do it. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, is it premeditated or is it just there he is inspecting his rock collection, the music comes on from Jay's room and he just grabs, grabs some granite or something and goes wild? I don't know. Mm. Is this part of MC's de- character development where like Jay's rich <laughs> and likes heavy metal, MC is a computer nerd with a large rock collection? Well, I mean, there's only one way to find out, but I'm, I'm excited. Me too, me too. He... Bided Jay goodnight. Bided. Oh, no, that is actually bided. legit. Yeah. You, damn. Old damn. you played future you. Shit. Oh my god. The long con. <laughs> <laughs> he bided. Bid, bided. He bided Jay goodnight and head for the kitchen downstairs. Yeah, suck it past Jim. You are a <laughs> retard. 
<laughs> All these killing thoughts had left him quite parched. Time for a cup of tea. Quiet parched as well, not quite parched. So yes. Oh, a quiet parched. Wow. I, I reckon the past you did actually mean to say bidded, but um, fucked it up. So you were, you were right, I think. Nah, we go abided. Okay. In the kitchen, MC found Louise spreading a sum of low fat <laughs> butter on a piece of bread. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> a, a sum. Like, is this like, am I trying to get mathematical here, but like, don't know any measurements of the form of butter? Is it? It's a sum of low fat butter. No, it's because low fat butter is, is measured in sums. <laughs> Also, I like how it specifies low-fat butter, because she's yeah, a, a girl, and they're always on diets, aren't they? I'm surprised it wasn't like low-fat butter on a piece of whole-grain, malted loaf bread. <laughs> on a lettuce leaf. With the crusts cut off. <laughs> Couldn't sleep? He asked. She shook her head, as talking would have meant a spraying of breadcrumbs for MC. Why don't you go and say anything to our house guest? She swallowed and answered. Because I thought it would be more interesting to see what you do to him. MC admired her honesty. Good call. Chip's not back then, I see. I feel like we've spent a long time on the fact that Jay woke everyone up in the house. Like, <laughs> this is, like, the subplot to this episode. <laughs> Chip's brother has returned and is a vampire and he's not going to kill him. And also, Jay woke everyone up. <laughs> that's the real... That's, no, <laughs> that's the real the, drama. The Scott being a vampire is the subplot. This is the main plot. <laughs> Did, is this based on some sort of real life thing? Like, did Jay stay over and wake you up with Slipknot in the middle of the night? Or It does sound like something that could have happened, but mm. I don't recall. Fair enough. <laughs> Louise had started eating again, so MC was forced to wait a few seconds until she had finished a mouthful. Again, it's... it's why is that... Why is that relevant? Why do we need to know this? It's setting the scene, you know, there's a little comedy moment of sorts. There is something... I feel like you saying comedy is quite generous at this point. <laughs> Uh, Louise had started eating again, so MC was forced to wait a few seconds until she had finished her mouthful. Nope, haven't seen or heard a peep from him or Scott. Hmm. MC was pondering, which usually meant a lot of pushing his glasses up his nose. There was something about Scott I didn't like. What was that? asked Louise. I don't know. Just call it Ninja's intuition. And on that bombshell, that's where we're going to leave this episode. <laughs> That's the end of part three. I bet you can't fucking wait for what part four now, can you? <laughs> Will Louise finish her bread with low-fat butter? Will MC get covered in breadcrumbs? <laughs> Will Jay <laughs> listen to something other than heavy metal? Will Shinno Khan pass out in a stream of piss in the bar toilets? <laughs> and something about Chip's dead brother being a vampire. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that was Family Part 3. A mm. uh, bit of a weird episode, that one. A little bit, a little bit. Um, yeah, nothing... There weren't any fights or anything. Nothing really exciting. It was no. all... It's all quite domestic, isn't it? Like, yeah. things with brothers and father figures that are dead and pissed in bars. And uh, sort of like, the, these guys becoming like a family. Like, brother and sister sharing a house, loud music. Yeah. Eating low-fat butter. Uh, portions of sugar as well. Uh, don't forget yes. that. There's lots of food in this one. A lot of food, a lot of timings, and a lot of very, very dull and uninteresting plot points that <laughs> I don't know why we're focused on them whatsoever. <laughs> I can't wait for next week. <laughs> uh, yes, tune in for part four of Low Fat Butter. 